Okay, after installing, I see that uh, the CleanStrong uh, WinMac keyboard layout is installed in my uh, language bar, which is down here in the system tree. And I have a choice of a US keyboard, Canadian, French, some other keyboards that are showing there. However, um, the selection you make here is dependent on the program you're using. Uh, for instance, if I make the uh, Microsoft Word document my active window, then the uh, US keyboard is default. For each application I'm using, I have to select the keyboard I want to use with that application. So now when I select the clean show and set my font, let's just set a slightly larger typeset face here so we can see it well. Also, we'll use uh, Arial, which is uh, fully uh, Unicode compliant. Now I can type the word Clinchon by typing a capital T, hitting the uh, semicolon key for the L, typing an I, and a number 6 to add the nasal, C-H-O, and another number 6 to add the, uh, the nasal to that. And I have the word Clinchon typed in there. Uh, if I want to go back to typing regular English letters, especially with dotted I's, I just simply need to go back to the uh, US keyboard. And now we're back to uh, normal again. Uh, my number six will actually make a number six, and uh, my semicolon will make a semicolon. Now, if for some reason the language bar is not showing in your system tree, you'll need to go to the control panel to the region and language settings and you'll want to uh, select the uh, keyboard or other input methods there. In this region and language window click on the keyboards and languages tab and then change keyboards. You get the text service and input languages dialog. You want the language bar tab and instead of showing it as hidden you want to show it docked in the taskbar. If you then click apply, you see it's showing up here and when I click on it, now it shows the keyboards that have been installed. So that's how you make the language bar visible. Click OK and close it and you're in business.